No Man's Sky has just got a brand new update, the first one since Echoes, and it has been a very long time since Echoes. And finally, we've got a bunch of new stuff, including new on-planet missions that are procedurally generated, where you find an alien, talk to them, and they'll give you a mission that's generated based on where you are, the climate, and the alien type that you're talking to. A bunch of new pirate battle mechanics, such as fighting pirate freighters around a dreadnought before you can board it and take control over it. Revising the Atlas path quest line, meaning at the end of it, you'll now get a staff, a jetpack, and a helmet, and also overhauling the expeditions. Expeditions are basically several hour long campaigns that give you a bunch of milestones to do and let you progress through them. However, today's update puts them a lot closer into the main saves that you have and with it brings along the Omega Expedition. This one is geared towards new players. So it'll take you through the core mechanics of building a base, of trading, of fighting in space. And all of these will take place over a series of missions on this expedition. At the end, you'll get the brand new Starborn Starship, which is um, strikingly similar to Starfield's Starborn name. Well, not even similar, it's the same, but it does look very, very cool. And the reason they've put this newcomer geared expedition in the game is because the game is now free to play across all platforms. And that also means it's free to play on PSVR 2. That's right, for this weekend, if you wanted to jump into No Man's Sky without having to really commit in terms of finances towards it, you now can. You can jump on, you can experience the game and you can experience the Omega Expedition and get to grips with the base mechanics easier than ever to see if you want to play the game. And I know a lot of people have been saying in the comments how they'd like to try out No Man's Sky, but without the extra baggage of having to pay the full like 20 or 40 pounds, depending if it's on sale or not. And this is now your perfect time to jump on. So that's your PSA. Go jump on No Man's Sky. This isn't the biggest update we've ever had. It's not adding loads and loads of new content, but it is adding content geared towards people who maybe struggled with the game before getting to grips with it or didn't want to really commit fully to it. This is your perfect time to jump on. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I will be continuing my No Man's Sky expedition at some point in the future very, very soon. We have a little series where we go through the galaxy and we've got a very, very cool little quest and hidden distress call to find in next episode. So that'll be really fun. But today I just wanted to give you a little heads up on No Man's Sky's free weekend and the new update that is perfect for you newcomer players. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please do let me know in the comments below. Are you a fan of No Man's Sky already or are you going to jump into it for the first time? I've got so much praise to give this game. It is one of the best looking and most fleshed out PSVR 2 games on the entire platform. I've sunk so many hours into it just exploring in creative mode. That's the main crux of the series that I do on it. And it's so damn fun. There's so much to explore, so much to see. And if you're meaning to get into it, please do this weekend because now is the time. And if you do end up getting into it, look forward to updates coming out of nowhere like this one does because uh, Sean Murray likes to just throw them out there and the game gets constant updates. It's one that you won't be left feeling regretful about if you buy it because it does get supported all the time. And to be honest, even when Light No Fire comes out, I think No Man's Sky will still get updates, despite Light No Fire being the focus at Hello Games. Anyway, with that all being said, please go and try No Man's Sky. That's your PSA for today. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be jumping into a very cool and very cheap at the moment bowling game and Bartender VR, which I'm very excited to cover. So stick around for those. And I hope to see you all in the next video.